first stop on his trip to the region, hoping to prevent a wider war and rallying support behind a stalled hostage proposal. He hit a base used by U.S. troops late yesterday with a militia group supported by Iran claiming responsibility. America's Syrian allies said six of their fighters were killed, but reported no American casualties. It's the latest in around 170 attacks on the U.S. military in this region since the Israel-Hamas war began. One last month, killing three American soldiers in Jordan. The U.S. retaliated to those deaths with strikes late on Friday saying it hit 85 targets in Iraq and Syria, locations used by Iranian forces and the militia groups that Iran backs. And just one day later, the US and its allies hit 36 targets in Yemen, including Houthi missile systems and radars. The Houthis also receive equipment and money from Iran, according to the US. Their slogan includes calls for death to America and to Israel, and they've been attacking ships in the Red Sea since November, they say in solidarity with Palestinians. Ever since the Israel-Hamas war started, there have been fears it could escalate into a regional war, likely sparked by Iran's proxies in the...